Hey everybody, Sarah out here in Iron Mountain and once again on a 30 and 30 stop. Today we're at G Dove Photography and G Dove Flower Farm. I know you're probably thinking right off the bat, what? Uh, flowers and photography. Well, for those of you that don't know uh, Lupe, this is her little business here. She's right on um, US Highway 2, South Stevenson Avenue. Let me quick pan and see. We are right across from an automotive, the Iron Mountain Automotive Center there, brakes and exhaust, as well as the computer repair shop. Sorry, it's a little bright. You might not be able to see the sign, but we are right on US Highway 2 as you're making your way out to the west side of town. I believe uh, we're past Hardee's and all that. And we're going to come on back here and talk to Lupe, the owner, and she's going to fill us in on all the wonderful things that she has to offer our area from photography to fresh flowers. You'll be amazed at all the things this fantastic lady is doing, and it's right here in our backyard. So I walk in here to her studio, and I'm immediately greeted by that beautiful green door and images here of these little tykes. They are so adorable, and it's just examples of what she can do for your little ones, for your family, or your special event. There she is, Miss Lupe. Thanks so much for Hi. your time today, lady. Hi. Appreciate you uh, agreeing to be a part of the segment here. So thank you again for your time. It's going to go very quickly. So photography, let's start off the bat. I got a picture of the front of the, the house here to show people where you're located. And I'm greeted, of course, by the little ones when I walk in. And then these stunning wedding photography uh, pictures here. So why don't you let us know how long have you been in business and what do you specialize in? Um, I have been in business for uh, about 15 years. Um, here at the studio, at this location, I've been here almost nine years. Um, I specialize in newborns, children, family, seniors, and event photography. So cool. This one's just so sweet. Must have been a, a person of the uh, Michigan Police Force there, being able to use that. And what other kinds of events, as you elaborate further, what kind of events are you uh, looking to do? or Pretty much anything, anniversary, retirements, um, anything like that, I'm available for photography. And year-round, right? The photography yes, is definitely year round. 365. Other than, of you course. told me you're taking two weeks off right I'm now. Yes, I'm trying to take some time off, so that that's why I don't have no flowers, holiday planters. Everything's kind of gone and done with... Um, because I want to take a couple of weeks off. Good for you. Well <laughs> deserved. And then I see all these beautiful, uh, just so touching. Look at that. Portraits of infants. So you do families as well as infant photography. Look at that peanut. How precious is that? I do. I do. I specialize in, I think my specialty is newborns. I love doing newborns. Aww. Any fun, quick stories to tell us about experiences with perhaps uh, Mother Nature kicking in when a diaper comes <laughs> off or uh, just always remember to bring an extra set of clothes but I always forget <laughs> to. Um, I've had some funny incidents. Oh that's so cute. That That's a really pretty one too. All the bridesmaids there on the beach. That had to be fun destination, right? It was. It was. It, that one was in Escanaba actually. What? That I gotta pan that, back to that. That, that was an Esky? Yeah. Wow. You would never hear. I thought you went to south of the border to get that done. That's stunning. It's nice to dream about it. Yes, <laughs> yes. Well, why don't you give us a tour of your studio sure. here? What is what is the physical address, hun? 504 North Stevenson Avenue. 504 North Stevenson. Okay, I told everybody you're right here on US Highway 2. This so. is my shooting area here. Um, as you see, props everywhere. Okay, so one of the uh, one of the areas, and obviously things that can be used to go along with it, accessories. This is Very my, nice. my newborn corner here. Oh, I noticed you've got it nice and comfortably toasty in here, so definitely for those little ones, yes. keeping it warm so they don't get a yeah. chill. I'm usually sweating when I'm in here with <laughs> newborns. <laughs> <laughs> I bet, I bet. Wonderful. And then you're motioning behind me, there's a spot over here? Yep, right over here, there's just the newborn room here. Okay. So some other spots that you can place the little ones in a soft area and give them a quiet experience to have their picture taken. Oh my goodness, just a, I love that striking picture there with the, the black and white and then the color. She's got some accessories if you need a headband or two. And then how beautiful some family pictures going on. 
Uh, I assume you've got dates open in 2022. Or are you pretty booked? I am starting to book into January. The end of January is where I'm looking at right now as far as um, newborns. Okay. Um, family. I love the snow, so I need time. <laughs> oh, you like the snow. Yeah. You want to get out there. Oh, look at this. We got a cake smashed in their face. Wonderful. So obviously people can reach out to you. Uh, where can they find you for your photography studio? Let's focus on that um, yet. Uh, I'm on social media, GW Photography, uh, both Instagram and Facebook. Uh, my website is gdubphotography.com. You can reach me right through there also. Okay. And then um, can you, GW, your name is Guadalupe and I call you uh, Lupe. Where did G Dove come from? Well, it all started because no one could pronounce my name. What? Uh, no one could pronounce it, spell it, anything like that. So I just made it easy for everybody. G Dove. Oh, Dove Guadalupe must be your last name. Dove, yes. Oh, how neat. So that's, that's the name of your business is yes. the G for Guadalupe and then Dove. How Correct. unique. Yes, Very that's cool. Where that comes from. Wonderful. Okay. Now let's segue into here because halfway uh, through the video already, hard to believe. Oh, well. But you were telling me, and that's how I found you besides the photography, is your fantastic flower farm that you are growing and you know pun intended you're growing flowers but also you're looking to grow that a little bit more why don't you tell everybody what you're offering and I know you've got your phone nearby for some pictures because being that it is uh, cold outside and snow you've got the bulbs already taken care of and tucked away yeah everything will be ready um well soon I'm hoping uh warmer weather um I do I grow cut flowers um I usually do flower uh, pop-ups, which would be Valentine's, Easter, Mother's Day, summer, and of course, holiday planters. Um, I'm aiming to do a little bit more of the pumpkin arrangements that I did this year um, for Thanksgiving arrangements. Those are beautiful. I can't wait to show Something people like those. That. And, and everything is flowers that I grow. It's, so it's all here in Iron Mountain that you're growing these flowers, so mm -hmm. they're locally sourced. Yes. And what kind of products are you putting on them? Everybody is so, even with something in your home that you would smell, people are very susceptible to pesticides and things. Right. I don't use any pesticides, nothing, no chemicals, nothing. Everything is locally grown, sustainable. And what kind of flowers do you specialize in? Like, um, is it your dahlias? Did I see that? Uh, I think tulips. Tulips. Okay. So I started with tulips and I'm just just experimenting with different ones we'll see what i get this year i don't know <laughs> i'll surprise you all but uh you can find me on social media uh gda flower farm uh both facebook and instagram okay and if they want to um that's where they'll be aware if they follow you on there that's where they'll be aware of when your pop-up is going to be and how they can order from you etc correct right right that's usually where i put all of my pop up for now i don't have a website for the flower farm just yet but okay. um that's where they can find when I'm gonna have a sale or anything like that. For Wonderful. Flowers. Well, why don't you grab your phone and let's show everybody some of those beautiful pictures you were showing me of what you can do. Oh my goodness. Look at those vivid colors. Oh my gosh. What, what one is that one? The, the dog with the yellow. What is that kind of flower? That's a gladiola. Oh, that is so vivid. Very cool. So if you go on my page, you can find all the stuff I've been up oh, to this year. Oh, that's Gito Flower Farm. I see that, okay. Yeah. Oh, how beautiful. Okay, there's some daffodils, and there's your tulips. So you were saying before, tulips are your specialty for Valentine's Day, is that correct? Valentine's, well, I use those. Uh, I have Valentine's, Easter, and Mother's Day, I have uh, tulips. After okay. that, they're pretty much done. If I may? Yeah, for sure. Okay. And then um, I wanted to show, so the fall planters, am I scrolling the right way here? Here you go. So these are the Christmas ones you were doing. Yes, and I'm, I will start those next year. Um, I will have them for Small Business Saturday, so I plan on having that in a little bit of other stuff too. Okay, if I can click back here. And then where are those beautiful, oh here, what is this about? Uh, that's my tulips. I Those are Mother's <gasps> Day tulips. They're tucked away and under oh, snow right now, so I can't even show you those. That's incredible. Those are all tulip bulbs? Yeah, yeah, I have... I think I put in um, 3,000 tools. Oh my. And a wide variety of colors too, I'm assuming. Yes. Okay, I'm trying to tap back there. And then um, you've got more bulbs here. These are uh, Dahlia bulbs here. Okay. Very cool. And then where was that pumpkin arrangement? Was it right, right here? Right there, yeah. Okay, so this is something that you have done 
and you hope to do more of in the in the coming year yeah, or two? Yeah, maybe I can extend my dahlias a little bit longer this uh, next coming year, and um, and I can offer them a little bit longer just so we can push it out to Thanksgiving, maybe. Sure. Well, that is just stunning. Very unique and very beautiful. Wow, I'm just awe in awe here. These are, all, are bulbs. all bulbs. Yep. Oh my goodness, you have a ton of patience because I guarantee I don't have the patience to be digging out all those bulbs. That is incredible. Very cool. Well, anything you want to add to everybody to let them know what you're offering and and when, how? Um. Well, uh, like I said, just uh, join my pages on social media. That's usually where my flower sales are going to be. Um, uh, G Dove Flower Farm. Uh, my address here is 504 North Stevenson Avenue, and I usually put a sign out when I have my flower pop up sales. Um, and you'll see me out here, uh, you know, running around with flowers and stuff like that. <laughs> so I'm usually doing that stuff. Um, and uh, my website is gdovephotography.com. GDovePhotography.com. Okay, so perfect timing. Hard to believe we're at that max time for our video already. So we've talked about social media. You said, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Facebook and Instagram? Yes. GDovePhotography, Photography, G Dove Flower Farm. That's right. where people can find you. Yep. You do have the website for the photography studio. Mm -hmm. Nothing for the flowers. So the best way, right, not yet, keywords, not yet. <laughs> but the best way for the flowers is social media. Yes. How about to call you? Can people call yeah, you with any for questions? Sure. Yeah, my number is 906 396 9018 and you can always give me a call or a text. And what's again the physical address of your studio here? 504 North Stevenson Avenue. And hours though, you won't keep consistent hours. It's mainly by, for the photography, it's by appointment, by appointment of course. Yes. And for your event. And then as far as the flower farm, once again, stay tuned to social media yeah. to know where you'll be and when. Yeah, and usually, like I said, it's uh, for Valentine's, Easter, Mother's Day. Those are the my set dates and small business Saturday is Well, wonderful. Well, Lupe, thank you so much for your time. This was an absolute joy to get a chance to talk with you and learn more. I Forgive me, I've driven past your studio so many times and just haven't had the real need, I guess, for any special occasion <laughs> photography, but it was one of our viewers that let me know about you, especially your flower farm, and I was intrigued, and I cannot wait to get my orders into you for some fresh flowers this coming year. Uh, I love to brighten up the home, of course, and the shop with some beautiful flowers. And Carol plants a few things, but nothing like you do, ma'am, so I can't wait to give you support, and I hope others will as well. Okay, well, thank you for stopping by. My pleasure. Okay, everybody, that's Lupe and g -Dub Photography. Thanks again for joining us here on this segment, and you know we'll be back again soon. Only a few businesses left. Stay tuned, and everybody have a great rest of your day. Take care.